Listening test one. First, you have some time to look at questions. Hi, Jane. This is Tanya. I'm calling to make arrangements for the concert on Saturday. I can't believe you've never been to the arena before. I often go at the weekend. There isn't just the arena concert venue. There are also lots of other things to do: shopping, restaurants, exhibitions. I'm giving Melissa and Sarah a lift. So, shall we all meet up for a coffee before the concert? I'll give you directions. Okay, listen carefully. As you walk through the main entrance, you come to a square with a big fountain in the middle. This is where people usually arrange to meet up, and sometimes they have live music here. Beyond the square, on Main Avenue, on your right. There are several restaurants, and opposite these, on your left, is an exhibition centre. There used to be a cinema here, but they moved it when they finished building the arena. So, there are several coffee shops to choose from: one near the fountain, and one in the north end of the building. But I suggest that we go to the one at the end of Main Avenue. Because it'll probably be less busy than the others, it's right at the end, after you pass the art gallery on the right. So, shall we all meet there at seven o'clock? Then, after we've had a coffee, to get into the arena, we just need to go through the shopping centre, which will be on our right once we go back down Main Avenue. It can be a bit tempting. But there's no other way to get there, as the arena is the other side of it. Oh, and there are toilets beside the entrance if you need them. And then, after the concert, they open the door opposite, and you can go straight out into the car park, which is very convenient. Let me know if you can make it for seven. I'm looking forward to seeing you. It's been a while. That is the end of the test. You have some time to look at questions. First of all, welcome to our activity summer camp. I hope you enjoy all the activities we have on offer. We start our tour at the outdoor theater here, where we hold many of our evening activities. From here, you can see our various water sport activities. Directly in front of the campsite, on the edge of the lake, we have the kayaking center, and then in front of the beach, we have an area reserved for diving. Swimming isn't permitted here. If you like racket sports. Just behind the beach, you can practice badminton in the large building. That's quite popular in the evenings. We also have some outdoor tennis courts. We used to have basketball in the building too, but now you can play it on the court behind the building. And if these activities make you hungry, the path from there takes you straight to the cafe and dining hall. However, we'll continue our walk along the lake shore. And I'd like to draw your attention to two other areas. One is this part of the lake, which is perfect for swimming, but for safety reasons only when an instructor is present. Unfortunately, we can't offer sailing as an option here this year. And I also want to point out, just across the lake, a track for cycling. Some people in the past have also gone running on the track. But there were a few accidents because there isn't enough space for runners and cyclists, so now running isn't allowed. So now let's take this path here, towards the tennis courts. 
On our left, you can see there's a football field. Gary's our coach, and he'll be organizing tournaments during the week. He'll arrive tomorrow because he's taking part in a rugby game today. And now, if we walk up to the right of the tennis courts, we can see the archery field, surrounded by trees. And in the building, just to the right of this, you can hire equipment for the archery and buy snacks and drinks. It also has some table tennis tables, so you can go there and have a game if the weather turns bad. That is the end of the test. You have some time to look at questions. Good morning. I'd like to thank the Council for agreeing to this meeting and for welcoming us here today to explain to you our plans for Pinewood Centre. Our aim is to make Pinewoods a place where people of all ages can come and enjoy their free time. The centre will feature our Tree Tops Challenge, only for the brave and fearless. For the less brave, and for families with children, there will be adventure playgrounds, indoor and outdoor, and a feeding area for farm animals, and we will also offer cycle trails through the woods. I'll give you an overview of Pine Woods first, and then tell you more about each area in more detail. This first slide shows the overall layout of the centre and where all the activities will be situated. As you can see from the map, the entrance to this attraction will be on the south side. As visitors enter from the car park, they will walk along this path, leading them to the cafe and gift shop. The gift shop will be where tickets are on sale and therefore needs to be near the entrance. So this building here on the right will be the cafe and the building on the left will be the gift shop. There will also be a picnic field behind the cafe for the warmer months. It's the area just to the right of the cafe as you look at the map. And in the bottom right-hand corner of the picnic field, we're planning to have a barbecue area where people can hire a barbecue and bring their own food to cook. It'll be great for parties. In summer, we plan to have bands performing here in the evenings. To the west of the gift shop is where the Tree Tops Challenge will take place. There's a path here winding through the forest, and up in the trees there will be all sorts of high-level adventure apparatus. Rope swings, awesome rope bridges and tunnels, and zip wires where you can fly way above the forest floor. This adventure experience will only be open to those aged 15 and over. Beyond the Tree Tops Challenge, there will be an adventure playground. To get to it, you go along this path from the entrance until you reach the crossroads. Then you turn left. The young children's playground will have a fence around it, making it safer and keeping them away from the lake. The indoor play area, only for the very young, will be on the east side of the farm, near the cafe and just inside the picnic area. And finally, let's turn our attention back to this area here, where the paths meet and form a crossroads. This path, leading to the east end of the farm, will take our visitors to the area which houses the farm animals. Children will be able to watch the animals being fed and cared for, and in some instances they will be able to feed the animals themselves. The sheep will be in this first area on the right here, directly opposite the pigs, and the goats will go at the very end there. We haven't quite decided on the other areas yet. So, those are our plans. We hope they will be approved, and we look forward to welcoming you back in the not-too-distant future to see the final result. That is the end of the test.